Happy New Year. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and I'm wishing you a very happy new year. I hope you're gonna be successful in both your personal and professional projects and I'm wishing you really good health because that's the most important thing. Anyway, I thought I would start off this new year 2022 talking about the new acquisitions that I got. So for those who don't know, I used to have a DSLR APS-C uh, kind of setup. And for this new year, as I don't really believe in the new year, new me kind of thing, it's more about new year, new gear. So I've changed almost everything that I had. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about uh, in this video. I'm gonna talk about what's in my camera bag for 2022. So all the items I'm gonna mention in this video are gonna have their links in the description below if you ever wanna check it out. Let's keep it short and get to it. First of all, cameras. So as many other creators, I guess, or photographers, videographer did, um, I just got myself the new Sony a7 IV. How original. As a hybrid shooter, uh, this is an amazing camera for both photos and videos. It has a full frame 33 megapixel sensor for photo. You have like a lot of freedom when it comes to cropping in post, etc. And it shoots 4K 10 bit 422 videos. And 4K is actually sampled from a 7K image. So I've had this camera for around like two weeks now and I'm loving it. I'm not gonna get into like the pros and cons, you know, you have like to this day probably thousands of videos out there of people comparing and just reviewing this camera. Uh, yes, there is a crop 4K60. My main goal was to go from an APS-C sensor to a full frame sensor. And that's what I did and I'm really happy with it. So anyway, that's the camera I have for 2022. Another camera that I use is uh, the camera for my phone, which is the iPhone 12 mini. And I mostly use it to take like quick photos and just quick videos, especially to make like uh, Instagram stories. By the way, I do that pretty often. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet, I invite you to go check it out. The link is gonna be in the description. And you know, check out my photography. And if that's your thing, something you like, don't hesitate to follow up or don't. I mean, that's totally up to you. Moving on to the lenses that I have now. Uh, the first one will be the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 DGDN, which is currently mounted onto my a7 IV. The 24 to 70, so it's really versatile. A great lens for both photos and especially videos, you know, with, from the 24 to 70 a focal lens, you can have like, you know, like a settling shot, medium shots, you can even have, go all the way to close-ups with the 70 mil. Just a quick tip here, if you are a Sony shooter, I I really invite you to check out the alternatives uh, from the G Masters and go look at the Sigma lenses. Most of the time they are as good and have the price or close to have the price. The next one that I got is uh, the so that is the Sony 70 to 200 mil f4 GOSS. Yeah, I think that's how it's called. That's my favorite focal lens to get like all those like details, like nice close-up shots in both photos and video. So it has everything onto it, so it's not as massive usually. Uh, but uh, I mean, if you think that's massive, um, wait until you see it. my backpack. I'm happy with that purchase. And again, that's my favorite focal lens, so I had to get a 70 to 200. I mean, with these two lenses, I already cover from 24 mil to 200 mil. So that's basically the two lenses that I'm gonna use. Moving on, drone. So yeah, in the previous video, I've done about what's in my camera bag, it was like nine months ago or something. Uh, I didn't have a drone yet and I was looking into buying one and I got myself one and I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna show it to you in about a few seconds. Ta-da! That is the uh, DJI Air 2S. So in my previous video, I wanted to get myself the Mavic Air 2 because I changed the name like why, but anyway. So yeah, so that is the DJI Air 2S. Um, this is an amazing drone. This is a one inch sensor. And yeah, and this drone is amazing for both photos and videos. 20 megapixels sensor for photos and it can shoot up to 5.4K at 25 FPS and up to 60 FPS in 4K. New Mavic 3 Pro came out, I think, but it costs as much as my car, I think. So the quality you get from this thing uh, with this price tag is 
<laughs> stunning. If you're looking into Biodrone, I really advise you to check out the DJI Air 2S. So just quickly, I've made videos on it and that hasn't changed. My audio uh, setup is with uh, a shotgun mic, which is the D80 D3 Pro, which is right now mounted right here, just out of frame. And I also have a lav mic, which is from Power Device and works great. My backpack hasn't changed either. It is the, uh, the backpack by Douchebags, the 21 liters version. Really light, small enough. I can put everything that I need into it. Uh, everything is safe and I'm really happy with it. I've had it for more than a year now and I'm not looking into changing uh, anytime soon so yeah now the accessories that i have for uh, my camera accessories i got myself uh, a handle a camera handle that you just have to mount on top of your uh, under the shoe of your camera this is from small rig uh, you know you can also pair that with like a cage and all uh, i just got myself the handle so far uh, it helps with stabilization and i also have straps so these haven't changed they're still the ones from big design so i have the slide that you know this is the one you can uh, the long one that you can put onto your camera on around your body. I often use it if I just want to quickly go out and shoot some photos and videos and I don't want to carry my uh, backpack with me, take different lenses and my drone. If I just want to take my camera, one lens and just go for a walk and shoot some stuff, uh, I'll most of the time use uh, the, the slide from Peak Design. Otherwise, I always use uh, what they call the cuff, which is just literally a bracelet. So you can just clip it onto your camera with, you know, like the Peak Design famous like system. And I always have this on, especially because all my gear is brand new and I don't want to drop it. It's really useful. I mean, if you're not using it, you can just fold it back onto your wrist. Uh, there is a magnet that holds it. It's great. And I always have this on when I use my camera. Better be safe than sorry, right? And I also have two tripod. I have the classic Joby Gorillapod, um, which is the 3K kit, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the one that I'm using right now is the uh, Manfrotto Compact Action, which is uh, a bigger tripod, but a really light one. And what I love about it is that it has like some sort of like quick release, little things that you can, um, you know, screw onto um, the bottom of your camera. It has this sort of like moving handle, uh, which makes my life way easier. It's foldable, really small and light and great if I want to go on, you know, like professional shots. Now, the accessories that I have uh, for my lenses. So the first one will be uh, the Peter McKinnon variable ND filter that he made with Polar Pro. This is the second edition, but just a standard one, not the missed one. And that is the 225 stops uh, version. Another accessory that I have is just a step up ring because I took the 82 mm uh, version of it and my telephoto lens, so the Sigma is 82 mm as well, but the telephoto lens is only 72 I think so I had to buy um, you know a step up ring to be able to mount this uh uh, VND to my telephoto lens. And finally, the accessories that I have for my drone is, uh, so I went with a variable ND filters from Polar Pro as well. So the two to five stops and the 69 stops. I just bought this to be able to shoot in like the right frame rate with my drone. I also bought a case for the drone because I didn't go with the fly more combo. I think that was like really way too expensive for, and I didn't have any use in all those little equipments and items that that came with it. And finally, for the times where I don't want to take the case with me because it takes a little bit more space, I got some straps for uh, the drone propellers. It's pretty like straightforward. So you put one onto the top of the drone and one in the back and they just like really hold into place the propellers. All right, so that was what's inside my camera bag for 2022 so far. As I've mentioned, I really wanted to keep it uh, minimal. If you guys are interested in one or many items that I mentioned, in the video again the links are in the description below there are affiliate links meaning that if you make a purchase using one of these links i get a small commission you get no extra fee everybody's happy so please consider doing it so if you uh, are willing to buy one of these otherwise one of my new resolution is to be way more present here on youtube again if you're interested you can come check me out on Instagram. I post on a daily basis. You can let me know what new gear you guys got in the comments below. Otherwise, you know, as usual, if you've uh, enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Otherwise, uh, I'm wishing you a great end of your day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.